Welcome to another edition of Wallaby Joe's Classic Matches. This is the second installment of Gouge Slideshow number two. We now join the slideshow where it previously left off with commentators Cyberpunk Jason Havoc and the new age sheep herders Wallaby Joe and Russell Crow. I don't, anyway, so Trailer Park Heat, I believe, was not the worthy champion at that point, and since I wasn't able to go in that match and do what I needed to do to bring home the championship, I, I figured I'd help Scab. And so, there was an incident with the title, and I was involved, and in, let's just say the whole crowd stood up and tried to, to pretty much destroy me after Scab took home the win. So I left Butna immediately and went back to Australia. You said Butna. Really? I'm trying to do a mature show here. This is why I didn't invite well, either one beginning. of you. And I don't, you weren't even invited to begin with, much less. That's what invited me. I'm bloody going to murder you. You were in so much trouble already. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. So, Trailer Park issued a grudge match against me, and that was to take place in STEM, North Carolina. Wait, wait, wait. It went from Butner to STEM. <laughs> what? Is, is it just me? At the STEM Fire Hall in STEM, you know, North Carolina. Wait, 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 wait. STEM Fire Hall? STEM Fire Hall. The Fire Department. Some of Trailer Park 8. I totally agree with you, Rassel. Not you. But I totally agree ah. with you, Rassel. Yes, there was a little some trailer park heat going on in STEM, North Carolina. So, anyway. The, the grudge match. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I was wrong. It was at Raleigh King's Ball Cave. What the? I'm just confused by you. That's trailer park heat. Why is he wearing a mask? That was on August 30th. He he's, like, well, he's a redneck, and they are kind of scared. So, so he's ugly. My face. Yes, mate. Yes, yes. I guess I'll go ahead and go along with you. Trailer Park Heat, of course, he's ugly. That's why he wears a mask. That's why, that's why all people wear masks. <coughs> <coughs> yes. All bloody people. You know, like people that, I don't know, swing chairs and interrupt shows. So anyway. I know a few people like that. I do too. Yes. So anyway, Kane's Bar Game. Sorry for the, the confusion there. August 30th, 2006. Grudge match between myself and Trailer Park 8. Now, I came out and tried to explain why I felt this was necessary that, you know, I make sure that Trailer Park 8 didn't win the championship. Well, well due to crowd interruption and suddenly Trailer Park Heat running out and just trying to catch me from out of nowhere. I wonder if Raven knows who stole his gimmick. Um, you think he knows that? The shorts. The shorts. Okay, I'll get you, mate. The shorts. Yeah. Well, not just that. Look, he stole Raven's body slam, too. Well, my what? body slam isn't a trademark move. It is for me. Or. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Would you do something about him? You invite him, and you should do something I'm about for him. him. I mean, if you're going to sit there quietly like I asked you, at least try to keep him quiet, too. Uh, but I appreciate you finally doing what I asked you to do for bloody once. <laughs> so, anyway. So, as you can see, the famous in the Indies body slam. Perform my trailer park heat. Does he got that trademark, you think? I might decide to rip it off. I believe there is a, tra a trademark. Uh, if, if we're talking about the underwear situation, yes, there's a streak. Um, as, as any of the rednecks, you know, especially in North Carolina, do. Now here, of course, is a, a suplex. Yeah, that trailer park. Ooh, big, big move. No, it looks, was a big move. My looks friend. exotic. It, I'm I mean, it. look, it's the handhold suplex. Look right at it. He's holding my hand. Huh. He helped me through it because it was quite a scary move. Huh. <laughs> so, it's like he's coming. Hey, we, now I come at him with, with my patented, you know, um, wallaby clothesline, with a jumping clothesline. And knock him off his feet, which it takes a lot of power for the wall to knock someone that size off their feet. But as you can see, I accomplished it. You do realize white men can't jump, right? Well, I had training from Aborigines, mate. So when, with that kind of it gets you a one up in it. You know, you no, get a leg up. No, it doesn't. Just like you know, Russell Crowe's video on the amputation site. You know, you get a leg up on it. The crowd really looks impressed. 
They were, mate. They were. They they were on their feet. They were absolutely what on their feet. Mean? Look, see, there's one right there. They're on their feet. One of them's on their feet right Why there. Why does Trailer Park Heat's leg look bigger than your body? Well, because, you know, in the Trailer Park, you know, they, they, they have a lot of groceries. They get for free. And... You know, churches and whatnot. Uh, there you go, mate. See, the well, churches yeah. are great people here. They'll feed. They'll feed these people well, you for free. Them, you have, a, you have a mobile home. They will feed you, mate. I'm trying to tell you. So, so well, meals on no, meals. What's your point? No dentist work, though. It's amazing. So, anyway, you know, and then the match, of course, Trailer Park and I were in the middle of this vicious, brutal fight that got interrupted when a someone fan, tried to rape somebody. <laughs> actually, you could probably say that. This fan comes from out of nowhere. Her name is Roxy, and and she attacks my manager at the time, Felicia. Huh. And and it costs the whole match. And you know, and so there that that happened. What do you ever suppose happened to her? She was pretty talented. Anyway, at, you know, the next match okay. is going to be. Oh, oh no, Scab! We just beat Scab. That was that was a few months ago. This is yeah. a few years ago. Is that the great Muda? When they hire him? No. <laughs> Oh, I assume you're talking about Ollie Swan. No, that's Al Snow. Uh, I've actually Is that Al Snow? Oh, no, that's that's Ollie Swan. Look, look at his card. Look, look that's how we Otto got Ollie Swan. We got, he's famous from look, TNA. Look, you know, big companies. Big companies. Never heard of them. Big companies. Look, uh, look like, what we got here, though. Look, it's Al Snow. We got the great Muda. We got Kinky Horiguchi from uh, Dragon Gate. I don't know who the hell that is, but it looks Kim important. Grog and and. Major DeBeers and Scav and Otto Swans and really? somebody by the name of Mudface. Yeah. Um, I wonder if Buff Bagwell knows he ripped off his look. But who knows? You, you never know. But anyway, it's in Stem, North Carolina, September 16, 2006, and it was at the Fire Hall in Stem. And it's a little town, quite a little quaint town. I will say that, you know, one of these nights, and I believe it was this night too, myself and Felicia were coming back from the match. We'll get into the match in a second. But Stem, North Carolina, I mean, they have a blinking light and it doesn't even hit in rhythm. And that's all that's there in the fire hall. And and out of nowhere, at 1.30 in the morning, we that's almost got called Jack. The only two Aborigine fellas in the whole town found us at 1.30 in the morning trying to figure out how to leave this place to get back to the airport. And these two, these two Aborigine blokes just come from out of nowhere trying to carjack us. So thank you for that, Stem. That was a bloody treat. Come over to America, and even in your small towns, I get a full dose of America. America. And that's words, so. though. Word life, mate. Anyway, <laughs> so... Chella Park Heat and I had to face each other in a casket match. Wait, 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 you wait, wait, wait. You're gonna help Senator fix that. What? You're gonna help Senator fix that for you. You don't have to keep wrestling it. Anyway. Hasn't, hasn't the, the casket match been done to death? I mean, I'm sorry, but it's like. Long casket matches. Well, this is Lots a different style. It is a timed casket match. A time, a time match. you have a certain amount of time to be able to get them into the cast. Without the Undertaker. I'm sorry, but this is destined to fail. Well, it's coming up on Halloween. We're trying to do a little Halloween. Well, Mate, just, just enjoy the pictures. I mean, bloody okay, hell. you're right. You're right. So anyway, they interviewed Roxy while she interfered in, in our last match. And while I, was I think I saw her on Duck Dynasty once. It's Paul George. Really? Do you really want to hurt her like that? Do you really want to make her cry? Hey, dude, she's a comic comedian. John Cena makes hey, you like, this, this has got to be the lamest jokes I've ever heard you might say. And I didn't, they're, they're lame anyway, but... Anyway. Why do so, I get the feeling Abyss is not worried about this guy? I, oh, battery percent, 14% low, Mike. <laughs> That's a great... So, I anyway, they're interviewing you. Roxy, watch, interviewing the match. And blah blah blah, yeah, can smack it. And John Cena confronts her. So anyway, it's Trailer Park and I get into it, and this is me bouncing off him with a southpaw version of the Wallaby clothesline. I did this with my left hand. Right? That's how. So it's I another did. clothesline. No, it's the wow. It's the it's the southpaw Wallaby. You can, Three you to can, four clotheslines. We've not heard about. That. You can definitely tell you're Australian because you talk because your timing went the other way. So anyway, well, this is 
me getting chopped on the ropes. You know, yeah, every once in a while. You know. And that's uh, referee Joe Jolly needs to be seeing this. As you can see, he's not even looking. I don't know why. I'm on the ropes. He should be counting. It's just wrong, mate. It's just wrong. Now, this is after a clothesline. Yes, definitely. From Trailer Park Heat. And, and as you can see, it knocked me off balance, and I, I tripped. If this was a video game, that'd be clothesline number 12. Well, here's a different move, just for you, mate. It's the, my patented kangaroo leg drop from the second rope. You know Hulk Hogan does that, right? It's, no, I jumped from the second rope into a leg drop. Okay. Hulk Hogan can't do that. His oh, hips can't can do take it. it. His hips oh, maybe can't not take now. it. He might jump, but he'll break a hip, I'm telling you. Back in the 80s, he probably could. That's Hulk Hogan. You don't disrespect the American argument. It looks like you all sell in sight. Well, that's what I was attempting to do, but, you know, we're not allowed to do stuff like that. And and then we move on, and I'm trying to break his leg, like, you know, just, just like Sid Vicious broke his leg. I want to do the same thing in the trailer park heat. I want to put him out. This this is ridiculous. And I might not have been the brightest in thinking of hurting his leg, and I'm going to drag him to a casket, but still, if I could end his career, all the bloody better. I'm going to actually give you a bit of a compliment. That's actually a very nice leg lace. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. I, yeah. I, I, I wonder I, who taught you that. Mm. Well, I was going to give credit, but never mind. Moving on. Never mind. Actually, I learned that all of my own in the ring. Yeah, I keep telling yourself. All of my Maybe one day you'll blow Look, it. See, see the viciousness there? You could not have taught me that, mate. So anyway, I continue to work the leg. I couldn't talk you the viciousness the of opening a jar of mayonnaise. I, I told you. I, I, I had to oh, like he eats mayonnaise. It hadn't been opened yet, okay? No, I don't eat mayonnaise. Why is your face do. purple? Well, because I'm putting a lot of pressure on his leg and I'm trying to break his leg. His leg is bigger than you are. Now, this is in history, right here, the first Paul driver I ever took in my life. And the first picture of your gut. Right. Yeah. I know somebody else who doesn't leave the lamb legs alone. I'm just saying. Yeah, you kind of figure a guy like with, with a name like Trey Apart Heat could afford a better mask. You would think so. You, you would think so. Who's T-shirt? Maybe some you? better shorts. Or... I, I don't know. Here's They've a... got them patented Rassel Crow wrestling boots on, though. Let's look at it like this. He took an old he took an old NWO T-shirt, made a mask out of it. He got the shorts from Just Incredible's Hand Me Downs. The tennis shoes probably stole from Salvation Army. Uh, the sh the shirt? Well, I think that's mine. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, Paul Driver, moving on. So, that's a vicious elbow draw from a large mate like that. It can be kind of vicious. And if you see, I mean, it's just evenly, evenly distributed across my collarbones. So, it knocked the wind out of me. That's not mm -hmm. nice elbow draw. Yeah, see, mate, see, I mean, I'll have to give him credit. It was, it was a perfectly executed one. And, and so, moving on. Dusty Rhodes style, let's see. Now, I was looking at one of those uh, clothes lines you were talking about. Ooh, on. Yes, it was, mate. Yeah, yes, it was. It was a clothes line. Clothes line number 16 by my count. Ooh. Yeah, well, no, no, we're not counted up that far. We do need to count those for that thing that we were talking about. What? But anyway, now this I, this is, of course, I made the mistake. I, I, I climbed up to the turnbuckle without having him dazed enough. Now, it does look like he's doing pretty, pretty dancing. Well, really? actually, he smacked me in the... Well, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, he's doing pretty, pretty dancing. You know, I'm just laughing at him. You see, look at the look on my face. You can tell I'm just enthused at the, the total pretty, pretty dancing. Of course, Trey Park he's, is dancing. He's probably got a Kit Kat bar in his back pocket. <laughs> give me a break, mate. Just give me a break. Break me off a bit. I can't do that. we get in trouble. Now, um... Is that called the hump? The hump you dance? We're bringing it back? Well, it'll be you, it's, it's just another move I do. It's a random move. Is that clothes on? Clothes on number 17. I think the pictures just might be out of order. It's probably like three different views of the same clothes line. No, so, mate. No, mate. It's it's 12 different clothes lines, man. Move it right along. So then, when, you know, after that clothesline, it got carried out into the crowd. Bar clothesline. Because at, the, at this point, Matt, Trailer, Dam Matt Damon seems pretty impressed. <laughs> but anyway, 
So, <laughs> we're trying to get to the casket at this point. So all he's and nobody's on, helping. No, nobody's helping for Wallaby. Do you think her uh, trailer park gets his clothes at Big and Tall Men's? Maybe the petite section. Oh, probably the petite section. Uh, well, it is, yeah. it is the South. So, so uh, here we, we get to the right here. The time is running out. Remember, this is a timed bloody match. Now, the time is running out, and out of nowhere, he cheats and pulls a stunner out on Wallaby Joe. At the last two Somebody seconds. <laughs> yeah, I hear stunner. It's a redneck stunner, is what he calls it. And this, going for no this is at the last two seconds of the match. So, of course, I wound up in there, count of one, but before he can seal, the match is over. So, therefore, no win. 